Coming up, I'm going to be talking about what's new on Disney Plus today, Sneakerella getting a new release date, and much more. But before we get into any of that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi everyone, it's Roger here from what's on DisneyPlus.com. It's Wednesday, it's time to jump in some of today's Disney Plus news, and there's a lot of it today. Um, at the moment, we've got the new TCA press tour taking place, which means there's going to be lots of news coming out in the coming weeks about Hulu, Disney, Disney Plus, Hulu, etc. We've had the first day take place, loads of information coming coming out um, on some ABC and Hulu shows. But we'll get into that later. First off, we'll just jump into what's new on Disney Plus today. The big release around the world was Marvel's Eternals. You can now watch this new movie. So um, this one is uh, really good. I actually am looking forward to watching it again um, in the next coming day. Saw it in the cinema when it first came out. So looking forward to watching it. But if you're gonna be watching Eternals, let me know in the comments below. We also got a brand new episode of the book of Boba Fett. Um, pretty good. Um, I thought it was pretty good. There's a few little surprises in there. We'll do a full breakdown along with the channels in this week's podcast episode, which is going to be coming out on Saturday. Um, also in the United States, they got some new episodes of Tots. There was a no-show one of the National Geographic documentaries that they kind of announced recently and didn't arrive called to be wild. Um, again, this just seems to be a common thing that goes on with um, Disney+. Plus. Uh, over in Canada, they had some great new content arrive. A big surprise that they announced um, literally just yesterday was the first two seasons of American Crime Story. Um, the first one was with um, the O.J. Simpson trial. I really enjoyed that series when I watched it on Netflix. So great to see that. They also got some other new um, Netflix content today, including Breeders, which they hadn't previously announced. And seasons four to nine of American Horror Story and 20 25 seasons of The Amazing Race, plus the first season of A Teacher. While in the United Kingdom, there was a number of new releases today, including new episodes of The Big Leap and also Big Sky, along with The Wonder Years. They also got um, American Hunter season two, four seasons of The Chi, and four seasons of Better Things. We're seeing plenty of FX content arriving in the UK and Canada. I'm sure we're gonna see a lot more of it in the future. Okay, let's now jump into some other news. Following the news earlier this week that Grey's Anatomy is going to be returning for a 19th season, it has also been confirmed that the spin-off series Station 19 is going to be returning for a sixth season later this year. It's also been announced that the Hulu original The Great has been renewed for a third season. Important to note, this one isn't available on Disney Plus around the world because Disney don't have the distribution rights to it for anywhere outside of the United States. It's also been revealed recently by the Vice Spin Bulletin that filming on the third season of The Mandalorian has currently been put on pause due to the spike in cases in the Los Angeles area. It's currently in, kind of indefinitely paused. Um, things can get back into motion very, very quickly, but they've just decided with the amount of um, cases that are there right now, it's not safe to be on set. Um, I don't know necessarily if it's going to affect too much. They were filming since um, October, and filming is set to finish in March when they're going to be moving on to the Ahsoka series. Um, it's also important to note really with this series is Pedro Pascal is generally filming the HBO series The Last of Us which is based on the PlayStation video game and uh, they generally because he's always got the helmet on he doesn't need to actually be on the set very often he just does the voiceover and probably just has to pull in at the very end and do a couple of um, scenes at the end so he doesn't need to be on set like everybody else. Um, not good, but it doesn't necessarily mean the series has been delayed. They've still got a lot of time to do. And as I said, they've already been filming for a couple of months, but then just stopped for the holiday season. Moving on from there, we've also got a bit of an update on Sneakerella. Now, originally back at Disney Plus Day, it was announced that it was going to be coming out in February. That date then got changed in the Disney Plus app and got pushed back into May. That has now been updated once again now. It just simply says coming soon. They've also released some new artwork that just has the coming soon. Now, on one hand, it might be delayed past May, but there's also a possibility that it's been brought forward. You know, you've got to look at it. There might be a positive. They might have done that. But it's generally, you know, they keep moving around with the dates. This is why, in some ways, I kind of agree with Disney right now of not putting out dates that they can't keep to. You know, we only really put out these dates that they can definitely keep to and stop making false promises. And so I really hope that this is something that Disney can kind of get a grip on because they keep changing the dates around and that's not good for anyone. So... Yeah, it's not good for Sneakerella, but hopefully we'll find out pretty soon. Deadline is also reporting that Laura Donnelly has joined the upcoming Halloween Marvel special Werewolf by Night, though nothing has been officially been revealed by Disney yet. It's thought that she's gonna be playing the role of Nina Price, who eventually becomes a vampire by night, as she has the werewolf gene in her, but after getting bit by a vampire, she kind of changes it into like a hybrid. Laura Donnelly has also previously starred in The Outlander, The Nevers, and Britannia. So as I said, nothing has been officially announced, and filming is set to begin in the next coming months. 
And finally, we've got a little bit of an update on the upcoming Untitled Booty and the Beast prequel series, which is set to star Josh Gad and also Luke Evans. He recently spoke with comicbook.com while promoting his new Peacock series, Wolf Like Me, and said we're still planning on shooting the springs and the scripts are incredible. The music is unbelievable. All new songs by Alan Menken. We're casting now. Just a little bit of an update on that one. I'm sure a lot of people are really looking forward to that series. But let me know what you think of all of this in the comments below. Go check us out over at What's On disneyplus.com like follow and subscribe and i shall see you guys soon later i'd like to thank all of our patreon and youtube channel members for their support you can become a member from as little as two dollars a month and you get access to our weekly q a and much more